Hey everyone, sorry I haven't been making videos recently. With everything going on recently, I just needed a break. Regular videos will be starting again soon, hopefully. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy. G'day everyone, I'm the Hot Hobbit, and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Today, we are starting right where we left off in the Zepho Temple, and we have to Are fight you? this guy again, which I'm not really looking forward to. So we might as well just jump straight into this, because I know for sure that this is just going to be fun. And I can't remember how to dodge. It's been way too long since I played this game. Ow. Oh, dear. This is already going horribly wrong. Uh, stim. Stim, because I can't remember what the button is for stim. Help. Help. Okay, it's Q. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> this might not go you exactly to plan at all. Ooh. Yep, no, we're dead already. Um, uh, let's try that again, shall we? All right, round two, or I, I guess technically round three. Let's do this. Ow. I didn't know you were gonna throw five electric balls at me. All right. No, you're joking, I got stun locked. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, round three, I guess. You know, one of these days, I'm gonna nail this combat system, and th like these enemies are just gonna be absolutely nothing to me to deal with. But until then, we're still gonna have to deal with stuff like this. All right, so we got our life force back. Oh no! Progressively getting easier as I can read his attacks. Ow. He says as he immediately gets hit twice. Am I right? Hey, there we go. That wasn't as hard as I remembered it from being last time, but at least we got him down. So now we can actually focus on the puzzle element, which we did try to do last episode, but we sort of ran out of time, unfortunately. So the question I have is, first of all, can we smash through these? Because if we can... Okay, it doesn't look like we can, but I would have thought that would have been the solution. So maybe let's jump up here and get a slightly higher view of everything. Oh, I did just notice, it looks like maybe... Maybe this can help us a little bit? Yeah, so if we force push... Wait, do we have force push? I can't remember. Stop it. Ah, uh, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, do we actually have force push yet? That's a good question. Uh... Oh, hold on, what's this? There's something here. Ah! Okay, well that's very helpful to know that that's there. What does that do? Ah, I see. Okay, so if I just quickly jump back up here... I can jump up here and then get to this climbing portion, which I imagine is the way to go here. So let's just hop up. And it does look like we can swipe through here. Excellent. And more sliding. Oh, I remember the sliding. Oh, uh, oh, that was so. That, that was that was pretty clutch. Not gonna lie. Uh, if I hadn't landed that tiny little bit, that I, no, nope. I'm pretty sure I would have been dead, e even though I just died there. <sighs> all right, so we're just gonna swing all the way over to here, walk right along here, and then jump onto the platform. We only just made it there, so I'm thank thankful that we actually did. So. I keep forgetting how beautiful this game is. Like, it's been a while since I played it. Uh, about a month, actually. And I really regret it, because this, this is actually one of those games which I love to bits. Now, what do we do here? I'm thinking we could try jumping, but it looks like maybe the wind will... Yeah, okay, so the wind is just going to completely blow us all the way up here. Uh, I do... I remember you. Um... You are something that I do not like. So what can I do here? Maybe it's a matter of jumping like here? Maybe that's the way to do it? I'll, I'll try it a few more times and see what I can do. Hey, there we go. Barely made it. Ah, hello, bud. I see. I see what you're, what you're trying to make me do, game. Well, I'm not going to play your game. and I'm just going to run all the way over here. Because I remember how bad those things are. Help stim, me. stim, stim, stim. Quick, help. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, okay, we almost hit that one there. Okay. Uh... Oh, nice. Wait, you can you counterattack then? It looks like you can. Sorry, for the longest time I thought you couldn't, so... Let's see, so this one's blowing over here, so I probably want to jump around here. Yeah, that looks right about right. For this, maybe jump here? There we go. Uh, did I hear another one of those squishy things? I can't remember. Alright, so let's jump up here. And... Let's see. We can definitely walk right on over here. More of these squishy things, which... We're just definitely going to be careful around, because, I mean... Those are bad. But it looks like we can just very easily avoid them and just open this. Which is another wind tunnel. Guess the lightsaber can't solve everything. Yeah, true. Uh let's see, so. Wah! Okay. Uh so what am I meant to do here? Maybe run over here and just sort of. Ow! Oh, that scared the life out of me. All right, let's just sort of run forward a little bit, make sure these guys are actually up and out. Because I imagine what we need to do is sort of run across here and just jump. Does look like to be the case. We're also going to use our next stim because otherwise we are just going to die the next enemy we see. Are you joking? I have to fight one of those with those around? Oh, this can go very badly very quickly. Okay, well, he took, he took out the majority of them, so he should be alright now. Oh, they did damage to him. Alright, so let's just avoid him, maybe do a slam attack like that. Jump forwards. There we go. Oh, I don't know what I was worried about these enemies. Like, they're a lot easier to fight than I remember. It does look like there's something over there, though. I don't think we can breach that yet, so I'm going to go up here first. Maybe, if the air will let me to. Definitely looks like I can do that. Alright, so let's open this wind tunnel here. And sort of just jump across here. Yeah, that works, that works. Uh, so what's through here then? Uh, I hope nothing too dangerous. All looking good so far. Uh, let's just head onwards before I get absolutely terrified by these things. Oh, BD1's found something. Hold on. I'll check it out. What is it? What'd you find? Ah, interesting. Let, let's just take a look at that real quick. So these statues were carved from the natural cavern walls. They depict Zephyr holding spheres. Ah, okay. So interesting. Okay, so it looks like we can't go through here just yet, but maybe we'll get something that we can later. Uh this definitely looks like something where we're gonna be doing something. I wonder what these glowy bits are. I don't really like the sound of that, but it looks like we're able to interact with this for some reason. Oh, are you getting another flashback? Or, or like a force vision or something like that? Looks like we've got to move towards it. Ah, I... Okay, so it would be a, probably a good idea to uh, avoid these stones, which are just barreling towards me in every which way possible. Ah, oh, blimey. Ah! Ugh. Oh, yes. oh, it is a flashback. Seek aggression, but we stand against it. The force True. is there to shield us. The obstacles in your path define the path. What stands in the way becomes the way. Now... Try again. Oh, we, we, we. Good. Continue. Oh, we, we're getting force push. Okay, let's. Push the ball before it reaches you. Okay, so gotta time it a little bit better than that. Keep your eye on the ball. Okay, still a little bit earlier. I'm really bad with timings. <laughs> the force to push the ball at the target. Okay, so maybe we need to do it a little bit earlier than that. Faster now. Complete the test. Faster? What do you mean faster? Oh, I see. It stands in the way, it comes the way. Ah. So if we force push this. Did it. 
Oh, we can open doors and stuff. Oh, fantastic. Right, I think I'm going to go back very quickly because that doorway before looked very intriguing. So, was that back here? I can't actually remember. It was. What's down here? Secrets? Hello? Secrets? Uh, it doesn't look like anything just yet, but I imagine we'll be back here at some point. Oh, okay. Maybe there are some secrets. I just did that just trying to do stuff like that. So what's up here? Yeah, let's just push this through. And push that. Definitely looks like something. So let's see if we can jump onto here. Oh, maybe if we push this across here. Yes, that looks about right. So we can jump up here. And we can get a chest. What's going to be inside? What is it? Oh, a new lightsaber material. That is definitely going to be something we're going to look forward to looking at. Um, so what's this echo? This guardian was destroyed long ago. Was it? Ah, okay. So, I wonder what happened here a while ago. Because, I mean, it definitely... This place looks very... Sort of... In, in a weird sense of the term, it looks quite ruined. I mean, if you look at all, like, the rocks everywhere, you wouldn't think a temple like this would be in ruins. Oh, BD1, you've got something. Oh, it's Master Cordova. Take a look at the detail on this bark. The distinctive striations. It can only be a Rosha tree from Kashyyyk. Gotta love Kashyyyk. It's time to call on an old friend. If the Zetho had contact with Kashyyyk, there is a good chance Chieftain Tarful will know about it. Interesting, so maybe we're gonna have to go to Kashyyyk. Oh, hello. Ah, okay, so when they're attacking, maybe... Ow, maybe we don't die like that, but may maybe we can force push them. Of course, we don't actually have enough force right now, so maybe let's just slash him a bit so we can actually get some. Ow. This could, this could end very badly for us. Uh, ow. All right, let's just wait a little second. Uh, we have no force meter. Never mind. Let's just... Uh, let's just slash at you for a bit. Dodge out of the way. Ow. I've really got to get better at this dodging mechanic. Ow. I just went straight into that one. Uh, this could be bad. I have a feeling we're about to die again. Uh, okay, we got the hang of this. Don't worry. We got this. Probably. Ah, oh, okay. So that's how we sort of stunned them. Oh, dude. Yes. That's so cool. Alright, well, let, let's take a scan of this then. So... Nice job. Isle Ram Sarcophagus? This ancient Zephyr Sarcophagus holds the remains of Sage Isle Ram, is that how you pronounce that? They are in the first of the Zephyr oh, to establish a relationship with the inhabitants of Kashyyyk and love the planet's greenery dearly. Now their remains are forever in interred beneath the roots of a stone washer tree. Interesting. I suppose that'll be something to look at. We are very low in health though, so. Uh, if we can find a save point soon. Game, please. Oh, perfect. So it looks like we can go in, oh, just to Kashyyyk now. Is that... I have a feeling that's where we're going to be going next. Uh, so let's very quickly heal up. Um, oh, nice. we got new skills available. Oh, that's really cool. So let's see. What can we do? Whoa, we can do a whole lot more now. Oh, nice. So... Oh, we can... Oh, that's so cool. So it looks like we've got a lot more we can do. So I have a feeling what we should do is definitely not get any more attacks for now. Because I kind of want to get some more force. Um, so what if, what if we get this one here, which basically allows us to stagger more enemies, which I have a feeling is going to be very, very handy. Yeah, that definitely looks like it's going to be handy. And then we should probably get this too, because it's nice to gain more force in a sense. So, the more force we get when 
and we're doing things, the more we can use our force attacks. Anyway, let's quickly rest up and then we will continue onwards. I'm guessing now what we want to do is we've got to go to uh, Kashyyyk then, because that, that recently got unlocked. So maybe if we head out of this temple, we'll be able to speak to Sierra. Uh, I completely forgot that was a wall running thing, so... Uh, uh, big done stupid hobbit. I did miss this though, so what happens if we go through here? What are we going to find? Uh, death, apparently, because we completely forgot, well, to wall run in any sort of capacity, because we didn't realise this wall was a wall running one. Oh, that's so satisfying to do. Uh, do we request a hint? Oh, okay, so... Definitely looks like there's something over here, so... It's nice to know that we can actually request a hint now. That's a really nice little feature the developers put in. So let's just jump over here. And we're just gonna go over here, because it looks like there's definitely something up here to do. So what is this? This was deliberately destroyed. I can still feel the hate of the act. Interesting. So definitely something happened here which wasn't amazing. So I wonder what we do now, because I'm not exactly sure myself. Actually, let's ask VD1, why not? Right, we're gonna need more than the wind to move that sphere. Ah, okay, so. Oh, I see. So we, what we need to do is we need to move that sphere over to there. Right, we can do that. Uh, in fact, we, ha we, we, re we just pretty much got the ability to do that. So let's very quickly do this and hopefully not die for full damage. All right, let's just push this. Okay. Uh. Oh, no, I forgot about you. And we're just going to take you out nice and easily. Ah. Oh. That is so fun to do, I'm not gonna lie. Now, I wanna know, can we break this thing here? Okay, it doesn't look like we can. It, it was worth a try though, so... Let's push this over here. Because it looks like this is where we're meant to be pushing it to. Uh, wait, where are you going? Maybe maybe not. Uh, um, is this right? Yeah, th this looks right, so let's just... Push you forwards. There we go. Come on, up you go. Definitely looks like there's slightly more to it than that. So let's just let's just push this over here. All right. So what does that do? Uh, I'm not really sure. Oh wait, no, I see now. So. That's brought a lot of wind into sort of this area here, so maybe what if we can do is if we push this... Uh, wait, no, that can't be right. There must be another way to do this then, because otherwise we're just going to lose that wind bit that we got. I'm honestly really not sure what to do here. I mean... I'm going to ask BD1 again, maybe because... more spheres around here? Yeah, I had a feeling there'd be more spheres. Let's keep checking. So... Let's see, so what would happen if we took this off again? Let, let's see what actually is on that platform, if there is anything. It might help if I actually push it the other way, just so I can make sure it's out. What's on top of this platform here? Is I do not remember. Actually, maybe there's something up there, so maybe what we can do is we can... That's actually slowly moving, so I'm, I I think what we can do is if we stand on this platform here, if that sphere sort of rolls into that socket, which is doing ridiculously slow, we're going to get sort of jettisoned upwards. So maybe we'll find a sphere up here? Well, it's time to find out. I don't see a sphere so far, but there's definitely a chest, so we're definitely going to open this and check what it is. Hey now. Something we can use? Oh, a new BD1 skin. Let's see what it is. So, Balm Grass. I still like BD1. I, I, I'm a man of puns, so we're gonna we're gonna continue on with that. I think. Looks like there's another force echo here. 
This relic is extremely old, but I get the sense it was part of some type of training ritual for Zephyr Force users. Interesting. I, I imagine that'd be interesting to look at. Okay, so is this just a way down? It does look like it. So, where are these officers? Ah, no, no, I see. I see. Hold on. What would happen if I uh, did something like uh, this? And I completely messed that up. Uh, so I can definitely push that like that. So can I push this in a different direction then? Does look like I can. So... Which way do we need to push this then? First thing first though, I think we should probably open this if we can. Okay, may maybe we actually need to use the ball for that. So let's see if we can get that ball out at least. Okay, let's see. So if we grab onto here, can we then get on top of this thing? It, it, it might help if it was actually stopped, but... So it's definitely still swinging, so we're gonna freeze you in place, jump onto you, just so we can get onto you like that. That definitely doesn't seem like the way to do it. Maybe there's something I've missed. Is there any way I can cut that rope or something? I'm not really sure, because it looks like it'd be kind of difficult to actually get on top of there, but we're definitely gonna have to do something with this fear. Let's try, let's just try force pushing it into that. Ah, there we go. That did the trick. So let's just push you through here. Ball, come back. No, I don't want you to go all the way over there. Okay, so no, 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 don't go all the way back there either. Okay, let, let's just push you over here because now we've got that um, air going. Maybe we can get it to sort of fly there. So I'm just going to push you down there. And we're just going to let you roll, because I'm pretty sure it's going to get a lot faster very quickly. There we go. That did the trick. So let's just jump up here. And push this over to this hole over here. Because I think that's what we're meant to do. Don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. No! All right, let's, um, let's try this again then, shall we? So let's push you over here. You're just gonna roll. No, you're just gonna roll into there and nothing bad is going to happen. Maybe. Something bad's gonna happen, isn't it? I can already feel it. Oh, it does look like we found something though. Huh? Oh, My the friend. wind chimes? This is too oh, I never called over. Did it? Did the message actually play? Or oh, let me just check. My friend, this tomb is utterly there we go, fascinating. It, play. it once served as a proving ground for force-sensitive Zephyr sages, but was converted into a space to honor the remains. And yet, nothing received greater honor here than the force itself, the life wind, as they called it. Oh, it's beautiful to see. Oh, that is actually beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful as a concept. All right, let's see. So what can we do now? Because I imagine there's something we'll be able to do. Oh, I, th I think I see. Maybe. Because uh, it looks like this is some sort of ramp. So it's definitely something we're able to do. Okay, so pushing that out is definitely not the solution here. So there's got to be something else. That we gotta do because this one has to stay on this platform here so that raises up is there a third sphere if there's a third sphere that'd be pretty cool but i'm not entirely sure if that's gonna be the case i wonder if there's a way of moving this sphere off because it looks like we have to keep that on in order to actually get another sphere round so does that mean there's another sphere that we need to go for? Possibly. I mean, I'll do some, I'll, I'll do some looking around, see what I can find. Ah, I f is that the sphere over there? Yeah, that, that definitely looks like some sort of sphere. So now the question actually arises, how do we actually get over there? Um, I'm not really too sure. Oh, 
Oh, this just opens. Oh. I'm just a complete idiot. <laughs> right, so what's through here then? Right, let's... I'm not exactly sure, but I imagine this is where we're going to find those balls that we need. No, we just jumped straight off. <sighs> right, let, let's just walk across here. Or, well, climb, I guess. Game, I don't need any more hints. I think I figured out what to do. Okay, so let's just squeeze through here. And we should just be able to push this through, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so... With this, we should just be able to push this into here. And then that should go round, fly up there. Uh, and then we're going to need to push it again. So it goes on that track. Uh, or is it just going to go straight? Okay, this is just going to go straight. So maybe we need to actually be fast before it falls off again. Yeah, okay, so we're going to have to wait until it just comes around again and then just push it straight into there. I think that's what we've got to do. Here it comes. There we go. That time we practiced did some good. So let's see, where's this going to take us? Deeper into the temple, maybe? Oh. Oh, wait, no, this is the entrance, isn't it? Oh, nice. So now we can actually just push this ball down. Well, this ball down. Which I have no idea what this is going to do. Definitely something. Are we going to go deeper in the temple? Or... I'm not really sure, but it definitely looks like we've got to stand on this. Oh, it looks like we're going back up then. The Zeppo went to Kashyyyk. Cordova mentioned someone named Tarful. Ah, uh, a Wookiee chieftain. They were old friends. Think he's still around? There's only one way to find out. We have to go to Kashyyyk. Excellent. I'm excited for that. Anyway, it looks like we're almost back at, at the surface. Oh yeah, this big giant storm thing. <laughs> I forgot about that. Alright, let's just get back out of here. It looks like we're actually at the very top, so it looks like we can actually just... Ah, the Empire's around now, so... Uh... We're definitely going to heal up, just in case. Uh, and it looks like we have a, stim um, a skill point available, so let's let's just see if there's anything else that we could use. Ah, I have a feeling that's going to be quite useful. So this basically will allow us to do a quick attack after a, an evade, which I imagine will be very, very handy. Especially for knocking enemies down. Yeah, that, that looks definitely like something we're going to be using a lot. Alright, so let's just see if we can get back to the ship in one piece. Did we just open the way for the Empire? <laughs> Is there a way to sneak? I can't actually remember. Ah, oh, that's so pretty. Show yourself now. Uh, that is never gonna get old. Let's just quickly take out the stormtrooper, and everyone's noticed me now. There's a rocket launcher. Wait, hold on, can I reflect these rockets? I I've got to try this. Maybe? It really depends, hold on. Let let let's just try this one more time. Can you actually aim properly for once? Uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm a doofus and completely used up my force power and then got shot. So, we're just going to go down here and meet things. Ah! We killed a Jedi! Yes, you did. Um, that, that was quick. Uh, right, let, let's try that again, shall we? Okay, so we're just going to take care of these rocket launch troopers first, I think. Because they're the ones that do the majority of the damage here. Okay, that's one down. Let's just take care of these guys. Ow! Alright, so let's just hop down again. That's not where I wanted to... Okay. Ah, uh, okay, stim, 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 stim very quickly. Okay, that's one down. Okay, so let's just take care of this guy. Ow. Okay. 
this this trooper is just going to get very annoying. So let's just take care of you nice and quickly. All right. But what did you get hit by? Okay, let's just take you out nice and easily. Okay, we're going to dodge out the way of that. And then just swipe me down like that. Oh, no, there's another one. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen. Uh, but that was a nice surprise. And there we go. I think that's all the stormtroopers in this area, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so we can definitely use force push in a lot more areas now. It might be actually worth going back to um, where we were before. I can't actually remember where we were before. But it might actually be worth going there because we, we've got a lot of new lightsaber parts as well, which I'd love to check out. So let's just slide down here, jump over here, and hopefully not die. Uh, th is this the way we're meant to be going? I hope so, because otherwise I, I'm going to have to cut this all out and then come back again. Oh, that is super satisfying. Okay, let's just run across here, and over here, and again. Okay. After all of that, I missed the final jump. <laughs> oh dear, that is, that is just completely typical for me. Okay, so let's just swing a little bit. Ah, there we go. Right, let, let's quickly get the save point. And I think we're going to have to end the episode there because unfortunately I have run out of time for this episode. So thank you all ever so much for watching this episode of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. If you did enjoy it, please let me know by leaving a like on the video and a comment telling me that you did. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel. It's completely free, only free channel subscriber at any time at all that you wish. And apart from that, all I have left to say is see ya, take care, and bye bye.